Today, let's go through how to create a GIF using Canva. And you might be wondering why in the world would I do that? Well, because it counts as a video and we know that social media, Instagram, Facebook loves video. So let's get started. Let's open up uh, in Canva an Instagram post template. Even though you're gonna post this uh, perhaps on Facebook, you can still use this same canvas size, so to speak. And here it is as a blank canvas. One way you can customize this for your own branding is if you have your branding colors and you wanna change the background over here on the left, if I tap on background, you can select a branding color. We'll just go with this one uh, up here and you're gonna be good to go. All right, next up we want to add a frame. So let's go over here to elements and you're gonna go down here to frames, see all, and you can see all the different types of image frames that you can include. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll just use a good old fashioned square. So I'm gonna pull this in and you can adjust the size however you want. There we go. And because you want this to be a GIF, you want to have multiple um, slides, so to speak. So we're gonna duplicate this. Um, let's just duplicate it five times, four times, so that we have a total of five slides here. You can have as many as you like, but you have to have at least two, right? All right, so next thing we need to go to either your photos or uploads. So if you have a product that we're going to include here, then uh, we'll just drag it over. So I've uploaded a product here. I'm just gonna drag it over and you can see how it just fits into that frame. And so there's my product. So when I scroll down, I need to add the product again. There we go. And then we're gonna make some adjustments here. So let me add in my product because it's gonna be the same one for all of these. There we go, there we go. Now, I have to make some slight adjustments to each of these so that it looks like there's movement. So the first one, I'm going to leave alone. The second one, I'm gonna rotate it just to the left. I'm gonna go down, leave that one alone, bring this one and go back to the right so that it's a back and forth type of movement, okay? So right now, these are just standard images if I click on this first one, you'll see this box pop up at the top that says animate. I'm gonna click on animate up here and I'll click on block. I will click apply to all pages. So this will be applicable everywhere. And again, back up on the upper left, you'll notice that for timing, it is set for five seconds to stay on each slide for five seconds, which quite honestly is a bit long. So I'm gonna shorten this down. I'm gonna go down to about a second and a half. Five minutes, five seconds is what I meant. Uh, so I'm gonna bring that down to about a second and a half. But as I scroll down, you'll see that pops back to five because it's not it doesn't apply that to every slide. You have to manually do every slide. So I'm gonna adjust that again to a second and a half. Scroll down, adjust, scroll down, adjust, scroll down. There we go, okay. I've gotten all of that finished. Now to preview it, you click on this little in the upper right, the little uh, triangle that's pointing to the right, and it'll show you a preview of how it rotates and moves. So if it's not going fast enough, you can again go back to the animation, slow that down. I'm sorry, speed that up. Let's just go back and speed it up to one second uh, for each of those. So I'm just showing you how we can easily do this in Canva. Oh, that one went really, I went really too far, too fast on that one. Let's bump this up to one second. There we go. Bump this one down a second. So you can see, you can get it to go quite fast if you really wanted it to. So just play around with it, find the speed that works best for you. You wanna be sure that, it, especially if you have writing, you know, forget about people trying to read it. So this is really just for visual and you'll put all the other information in your caption. So I've got all these set, let's preview it again, see how it transitions. So again, just some movement to get them to stop scrolling and catch their eye. When you're finished, you're gonna click download, download, and you can save it as an MP4 video, which if you're putting it in your Instagram feed, you'll want it as a video, so save it that way. Or you can do it as a GIF, which if you're uploading it to Facebook, you could do either an MP4 video or a GIF, either one of those. All right, hope this helps and uh, give it a try. Try making a GIF yourself with some of your products um, and putting that as your post in your feed, because I promise you, 
it will help with your uh, organic reach because it will be considered a video. Good luck.